Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you're a mechanical engineering fresher applying for IT jobs, you're probably thinking, how do I explain my background? What questions will they ask? What if I don't know advanced programming? Don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, we're going through the most commonly asked interview questions, with best answers that you can actually use in your interview. These are not textbook replies, these are designed to sound confident, genuine, and fresh. So, grab a notebook, and let's get you ready to ace that interview. First question, tell me something unique about yourself that isn't listed on your resume. What the interviewer expects. They want to know about your personality, interests, or experiences that aren't listed on your resume but show your character, soft skills, or unique qualities. Answer. Honestly, something that's not on my resume is that I've always been a very curious person, I love figuring out how things work, whether it's machines or even how apps function on my phone. I also enjoy helping friends with tech-related problems, like setting up software or troubleshooting. Outside of academics, I love sketching and sometimes use it as a way to de-stress. I feel that my creative and analytical thinking helps me approach problems differently, even if they're outside my core field. Why did you choose to study mechanical engineering? What the interviewer expects. They want to know your thought process, your interest in problem solving or real world systems. Answer. From a young age, I was always fascinated by how things worked, taking apart toys to see the gears and mechanisms inside. Mechanical engineering felt like the natural progression of that curiosity. I enjoyed the tangible aspect of it, the idea of designing and building things that have a real world impact. Plus, the problem solving involved, figuring out how to optimize designs and make things more efficient, really appealed to my analytical side. Why are you interested in applying for an IT job with a mechanical engineering background? What the interviewer expects. This is crucial. They want to know you've thought about this transition and have a genuine reason, not just that you couldn't find a mechanical job. Highlight transferable skills. Answer. During my mechanical engineering studies, I realized how increasingly intertwined it is with technology. We used simulation software, CAD tools, and data analysis extensively. I found myself really enjoying the computational aspects, the logic, the problem-solving through code, and the power of using technology to optimize solutions. I see IT as a dynamic field with constant learning and innovation, and I'm excited by the prospect of applying my analytical skills and structured thinking, honed in engineering, to solve problems in a different domain. I believe my engineering foundation provides a unique perspective and a strong base for tackling technical challenges in IT. What was your final year project and what did you learn from it? What the interviewer expects. Communication skills, learning ability, and ownership of your academic work. Sample answer. My final year project was on designing a low-cost solar dryer for rural farmers to help them preserve crops like fruits and vegetables. It was more than just a technical task, we did field visits, spoke with users, and had to manage real-world constraints like budget and usability. I learned how important it is to design with the user in mind, and how teamwork and feedback can improve a project a lot. It also taught me how to work under a deadline and still deliver a practical solution. What subjects did you enjoy the most during your engineering? Why? What the interviewer expects. They want to understand your interests and strengths, which can indicate where you might fit best. Answer. I really enjoyed engineering mechanics and control systems because they challenged me to think critically about forces and how systems respond to input. These subjects helped me develop a logical approach to problem solving, which I find exciting and applicable beyond mechanical engineering, especially in areas like software development and automation. Have you ever worked in a team project during college? What was your role? What the interviewer expects. They want to assess your teamwork and communication skills, and whether you can collaborate effectively. Sample answer. Yes, I worked on a team project to design a small-scale wind turbine. I took the role of coordinator, ensuring everyone's tasks were aligned and deadlines met. I also contributed to the design calculations and prototype testing. This experience taught me the value of clear communication and how diverse skills come together to achieve a common goal. Do you have any experience using MS Excel, Word, or PowerPoint? What the interviewer expects. They want to know if you are comfortable with basic office productivity tools, as these are essential in most roles. Sample answer. Yes, I have practical experience with all three. I used MS Word for writing reports and documentation, Excel for organizing data and performing basic calculations like using formulas and charts, and PowerPoint for creating presentations during college seminars and project reviews. I'm comfortable with the basics and eager to learn more advanced features if needed for the role. Can, can you explain what CAD or CM is in simple terms? What the interviewer expects. 
They want to see if you can explain technical concepts simply and clearly. Do you really understand it? Sample answer. Sure. CAD stands for computer-aided design, it's basically using software to create designs or models of parts, machines, or structures. Think of it as drawing with precision on a computer instead of paper. CAM is computer-aided manufacturing, it uses those digital designs to guide machines in the production process. So, CAD is designing, and CM is making the design come to life. I've used software like AutoCAD and a bit of SolidWorks during labs. What do you know about our company? What the interviewer expects? They want to see if you've researched the company and understand its business, values, and what makes it unique. Sample answer. Yes. From what I've read, your company is known for delivering IT solutions and services across multiple domains like cloud, digital transformation, and software development. I saw that you're working with clients in industries like healthcare, banking, and retail. What stood out to me was your recent focus on automation and innovation, which aligns with my interest in tech and learning new tools. I'd love to grow in such a dynamic environment. What are your strengths and weaknesses? What the interviewer expects. For strengths, they want to hear about relevant positive attributes backed by examples. For weaknesses, they want honesty and self-awareness, along with how you're working to improve. Sample answer. One of my strengths is my attention to detail. I always double-check my work to avoid mistakes, which was helpful during lab work and project documentation. I'm also a quick learner, especially with new software or tools. As for weaknesses, I sometimes take longer to delegate tasks because I want to ensure everything is done correctly. However, I'm working on trusting my teammates more and improving my delegation skills. What is the difference between a bolt and a screw? What the interviewer expects. They want to see your understanding of basic mechanical components. Answer. The main difference is that a bolt is used with a nut to fasten materials together and usually passes all the way through the component. It needs a pre-drilled hole and is tightened by the nut. A screw, on the other hand, is driven directly into the material and creates its own threads as it goes in. Screws are generally used for lighter-duty applications, while bolts are for heavier loads. What are the basic laws of thermodynamics? What the interviewer expects. They want to see if you understand fundamental engineering principles. Answer. The basic laws of thermodynamics are often summarized as follows. 1. The first law states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed from one form to another. This is often referred to as the law of energy conservation. 2. The second law states that in any energy transfer, the total entropy of a closed system will always increase over time. This means that energy tends to disperse and become less useful. 3. The third law states that as the temperature of a system approaches absolute zero, the entropy of a perfect crystal approaches zero as well. This law helps us understand the behavior of materials at very low temperatures. Explain the working principle of a basic heat engine? What the interviewer expects. A fundamental understanding of how thermal energy is converted into mechanical work. Answer. A basic heat engine operates on the principle of converting thermal energy into mechanical work. It typically follows a cycle, such as the Carnot cycle or the Otto cycle. The engine absorbs heat from a high temperature source, which causes the working fluid to expand. This expansion does work on the engine's components, such as pistons or turbines. After doing work, the engine then releases some heat to a low-temperature sink, allowing the cycle to repeat. The efficiency of a heat engine is determined by the temperature difference between the heat source and sink, as described by the second law of thermodynamics. Explain Newton's laws of motion briefly? What the interviewer expects. Clear and simple explanation shows ability to summarize fundamentals. Answer. First law. An object will stay at rest or in uniform motion unless acted on by an external force. Second law, force equals mass times acceleration. It explains how force affects motion. Third law, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. These laws explain how things move and interact physically, useful even when programming simulations or animations in IT. What are the types of gears? Can you name a few? What the interviewer expects. A basic awareness of different gear types and their general applications. Answer. Yes, there are several types of gears used depending on the direction and type of motion. Some common ones are. Spur gears, used for parallel shafts, very common. Helical gears, similar to spur but with angled teeth, smoother and quieter. Bevel gears, used when shafts are at an angle, like 90 degrees. Worm gears, used for large speed reduction. Each type is designed based on the mechanical requirement of the system. What is stress and strain in mechanical terms? What the interviewer expects. 
basic engineering knowledge, and clear definitions. Sample answer. Stress is the internal force per unit area within materials when they are subjected to external loads, basically how much force is applied over a given area. Strain is the deformation or change in shape or size of a material due to stress, like how much it stretches or compresses. So, stress causes strain. They're fundamental in designing structures and components. What is the difference between hardware and software? What the interviewer expects? Simple, accurate answer with relevance to IT basic. Answer. Hardware is the physical part of a computer, like the monitor, CPU, keyboard, and motherboard. Software is the set of instructions or programs that run on the hardware, like Windows, MS Office, or a mobile app. In simple terms, hardware is what you can touch, software is what you use to get things done on that hardware. What programming languages are you familiar with, and how have you used them in your projects? What the interviewer expects. Your comfort with coding, logical thinking, and practical application. Sample answer. I've learned basics of C and Python during college. I use C in my early semesters for solving math-related problems like matrix operations and basic file handling. Later, I explored Python out of interest, I found it easy to learn and used it for small tasks like automating Excel sheets and data formatting. Though I haven't done big software projects, I'm actively learning and practicing through online courses and hands-on examples. I'm open to using any language the job requires. What is the difference between C and Java and Java and Python? What the interviewer expects? Awareness of different languages and your understanding of how they compare. Sample answer. C is a procedural language, it's fast and closer to hardware, but doesn't support object-oriented features like Java. Java, on the other hand, is object-oriented and runs on the Java virtual machine, so it's platform-independent. When comparing Java and Python, both are high-level, but Python is more readable and beginner-friendly. Java is more structured and stricter with syntax, while Python allows you to do more with less code. I personally found Python easier to start with, but I see the value of Java in enterprise applications. Difference between C and Java and Java and Python What are the core principles of object-oriented programming? What the interviewer expects? Basic understanding of OOP concept. Sample answer. There are four main OOP principles. Encapsulation. Hiding internal details and showing only what's necessary. Abstraction. Focusing on what an object does, not how it does it. Inheritance. Reusing code by creating new classes from existing ones. Polymorphism. One method or function behaving differently based on context. I learned these concepts when I started practicing Java and Python. They really help in writing clean and organized code. What do you understand about software development life cycles? What the interviewer expects. A basic awareness of how software projects move from idea to product. Sample answer. SDLC stands for Software Development Lifecycle. It's a step-by-step -step process for developing software efficiently. The main phases are. 1. Requirement gathering. 2. Design. 3. Development. 4. Testing. 5. Deployment. 6. Maintenance. It helps in managing time, cost, and quality. I may not have worked in it directly, but I've learned about models like Waterfall and Agile, and I find Agile interesting because of its flexibility and frequent feedback loops. What are your long-term career goals, and how do you see yourself growing in the IT field? What the interviewer expects. A motivated answer showing learning attitude and direction. Answer. My long-term career goal is to become a software engineer specializing in developing innovative solutions that leverage emerging technologies, such as artificial intelligence and machine learning. I see myself growing in the IT field by continuously learning and adapting to new technologies and methodologies. I plan to pursue certifications and attend workshops to enhance my skills. Additionally, I hope to take on leadership roles in the future, where I can mentor junior developers and contribute to team success. I believe that staying curious and open to new challenges will help me achieve my career aspirations. Can you give an example of a process you've followed in your engineering studies that involved logical steps? What the interviewer expects. Ability to follow structured thinking or a problem-solving approach. Sample answer. Yes. During our lab sessions, especially in thermodynamics experiments, we had to follow step-by-step -step procedures to ensure accurate readings. For example, while calculating the efficiency of a heat engine model, I had to collect data at intervals, cross-check with theoretical values, apply formulas, and validate the result. It taught me to think logically, verify my steps, and solve problems systematically, which I believe is also useful in IT problem solving. What is a string in Java? What the interviewer expects. Understanding of basic programming concepts and ability to explain them simply. Answer. 
A string in Java is basically a sequence of characters, like words or sentences. For example, hello world is a string. In Java, strings are objects that store text, and we can use methods like length, to uppercase, or substring to work with them. I use strings while learning input output and loops in Java. How do you handle pressure and tight deadlines? What the interviewer expects? Self-awareness, time management, and ability to stay calm and productive under stress. Sample answer. I try to stay organized by breaking tasks into smaller steps and setting priorities. When deadlines are tight, I focus on the most important tasks first and avoid distractions. If I feel stuck, I ask for help or clarification early. This approach helps me deliver quality work even under pressure. What do you understand by IT services? What the interviewer expects? Awareness of the IT industry and its offerings. Answer. IT services are solutions provided by companies to help businesses manage their technology need. This can include software development, tech support, data management, cloud services, and cybersecurity. For example, an IT company might help a bank develop an online banking system or manage their servers. I see it as helping businesses run efficiently using technology. Where do you see yourself in the next three to five years? What the interviewer expects. To understand your career aspirations and how you envision your growth within the IT field. Answer. In the next three to five years, I see myself having built a solid foundation in a specific area within IT, hopefully contributing meaningfully to your team. I aim to have developed strong technical skills through hands-on experience and continuous learning. I envision myself taking on more responsibility, potentially leading smaller tasks or contributing significantly to larger projects. I'm also keen to understand the business context of the technology we're working with and to develop my problem-solving abilities further. Ultimately, I hope to grow into a role where I can leverage my engineering background and my growing IT skills to contribute innovative solutions and become a valuable asset to the company. Why should we hire you? What the interviewer expects. Your elevator pitch, a concise summary of your key strengths and why you're a good fit for the role and the company. Answer. Even though I'm from a mechanical background, I'm genuinely passionate about IT and have been consistently learning on my own. I'm a fast learner, adaptable, and enjoy problem solving. I bring a fresh perspective, strong fundamentals in logic, and a willingness to grow with the team. I believe I can quickly catch up and become a valuable contributor. What are your salary expectations? What the interviewer expects? Flexibility, awareness, and maturity. Sample answer. As a fresher, my main focus is on learning and gaining experience. I'm open to the standard package offered for this role and would be happy to grow with the company over time. Do you have any questions for us? What the interviewer expects? An enthusiastic, yes. This shows your engagement and genuine interest. Prepare thoughtful questions about the role, team, company culture, or growth opportunities. Sample answer. Yes, I'd like to know more about the team I'd be working with and what a typical day looks like in this role. Also, what are the opportunities for learning and growth within the company? I don't have any questions at the moment, but I appreciate how thorough you've been in explaining the role. I'm really looking forward to the chance to work here and learn more on the job.